Hey, what's up, everybody? Wanted to talk about uh, my UFO sighting ahead. It was in the summer of 2001 in the Sierra Nevada, right outside, right west of Lake Tahoe, at a summer camp that I was working at uh, called Berkeley Echo Lake Camp, which is right west of uh, Lake Tahoe and before you descend into the valley. Um, also, it's also a part of this area called the Nevada Triangle, which I'm sure many of you have heard about. There's been many UFO sightings in, and encounters in that area, um, a lot of Bigfoot activity, missing people, a lot of missing planes too. So it kind of adds to the mystery of that area. A beautiful area in general, um, very beautiful. Beautiful trees, fresh mountain air, a lot of granite boulders and faces that are just uh, it's just a nice place to be. It's a great place to go visit. Um, and the beauty is everywhere. So, uh, working at this camp uh, with a bunch of uh, my high school friends for the summer, it was a good chance to get away from the city. And um, I was having a good time. I was having a good time. Working uh, kitchen staff, maintenance. As a 16 year old, you know, it, it, was, a, it was a good thing. So, one one night after work, a bunch of us uh, camp staff people, like me and a bunch of my friends, um, just finished up a day of work, and it was nighttime, and we wanted to all hang out. And uh, we we used to go to this spot. It's called um, Red On Echo Summit. It overlooks to the east um, the whole Tahoe Valley, beautiful area. And it's a clear night. I remember and up there my gosh the stars are everywhere it's so beautiful up there um, I think we were at about 6,000 feet elevation so it's amazing view amazing view so tonight it's nighttime a summer night clear night weather's nice we're having a great time drinking some beer smoking some weed we were there for a while probably until I don't know um, how long we were there for but it was a good while and then all of a sudden towards the east of us this thing appeared in the sky um, and it was there for a couple seconds I believe and I think it was me that first noticed it and told everybody like hey look at that so I was pointing to the east into the sky and looking at this crazy looking object it was like an orb shape you know round rounded shape I didn't really see any structure to it like a saucer or anything like that it just looked like a big round ball, and it looked, it, it didn't look small, you know? It wasn't a plane, it didn't have any sound to it, it wasn't a shooting star or a satellite, because I've seen all those. And it was just hovering out there in the sky, really bright, yellow, red, orange, ambient light. I think it was mostly yellow, though. Um, I do remember a little bit of green to it as well. So I tell everybody, hey, Look at this, and we all looked up at it. So it must have been there for at least a couple seconds, and we were all able to notice it, me and about, I want to say, 10 other people. There might have been 14 or 15 of us, I can't remember the exact number, but there, there was many of us, and we all saw it. So we're looking at this thing, and before we can even say anything, it kind of zooms over to the west, where exactly we were at, kind of like directly above us. And I really, I remember... When it came over, it zoomed over like a speed of light. And it kind of, um, our the whole area we were at, um, kind of like lit up in like this ambient light, you know, it was kind of like a yellow greenish light. And it must have been at least, it must have been there for at least a second, but just as soon as it got there, it was gone and it zoomed off. Probably what I remember back to where it came from, like back to the east and maybe south also. So it's a strange encounter that I think about all the time. And, uh, you know, it's not too far away from Area 51. If they wanted to test out some toys, you know, that'd be a good area to go fly it around. So I think about that a lot. Whether it's, uh, you know, just alien, te alien technology um, or whether it's government secret technology as well, I'm not sure. I kind of believe it's more, you know, in the middle, a little bit of both. But um, 
yeah, you know, you hear a lot of compelling stories out there, and it makes you makes you think. There's definitely some some things to these stories, and uh, you know, we're not being told the truth about much, especially about about these things. So, hopefully, everybody's having a nice weekend. Thanks for listening. Keep your eyes in the sky, because um, the truth is out there. Okay. Peace out. Be safe. And uh, talk to you later.